hope your day is going well. Like the title says, today's video is going to be a collective summer haul. So um, I have a bunch of stuff that I've collected, stuff from Loft, stuff from Nordstrom, stuff from Amazon, Madewell, Target. If we haven't met yet, my name is Chi Chi and on this channel we cover fashion, beauty, and a lifestyle. If that's what you're interested in, then guess what? You are in the right place. Keep on watching. So this is the first item that I picked up from the Target X Kushni line. As you guys can see, it's vibrant, it's bright. One thing I will say about her, even though her pieces are very streamlined, she loves to play with color. And this dress is a perfect example. So guys, to be honest, I wanted to love this dress. The model made me, I should put, I should make this a me versus the model video, but made me want to love this dress, made me think this dress would fit, but on me, the fit just wasn't right for two reasons. The first was the arms. Even though the rest of this dress is quite big on me, like I feel like I could have sized down to a 16W. I got this in 18W. The arms, are tight especially around the elbow area and then because it's tight I find that the crisscross or the draping does not sit properly on my chest now I would have been able to tolerate that just because again I want to support this line um, however the thing that kind of you know took me over the edge was the fact that the bow detail in front that was like a drawstring is actually a faux bow so you cannot tighten the waist on this dress and because the dress runs a little big in the body for me not having the ability to pull this in and tighten it just ruined the fit on my body However, I will say this, if you have more of a rectangular shape, or even if you have more of a inverted triangle shape, this dress would work for you because you would be wider across the midsection. So this with the little bow in the middle will really help to pull your waist in a little bit. So I'm gonna put a link to the dress. If I were to give this dress like a rating based on quality, I would give it a nine out of 10 based on fit. Unfortunately, I have to give it like a five and a half, maybe six. So continuing on with dresses, I have this gorgeous striped mustard maxi dress that I also picked up from Loft. This one um, features a square neckline. I don't really have a lot of square things in my wardrobe, but I noticed that that neckline is really popular this season. So it has that square neckline. And the best part about this is that it has a thicker strap. So you don't really have to worry as much about like what bra you wear this with. Now I'm 5'7". And as you guys can see, it the dress hits me right around my ankles. So if you're shorter, bear that in mind. If you're taller, bear that in mind. It features like a defined waist and then tears going all the way down. So I love like that stripe and that horizontal action. It's super lightweight, very breezy, perfect for summer. It has a seersucker feel to it. So if you know what seersucker feels like, that's what it feels like, like that hammered cotton. And I like a piece like this if you're going on a like a quick, you know, staycation or something like that, because you can fold this up, put it in your suitcase. And it's just made out of that fabric that doesn't really crease much. So if you're thinking of taking a piece like this on vacation, you will love it just for that fact. You can, you can throw it on over your swimwear if you're going to like the beach, if you guys are doing like a beach staycation or something like that. Um, but you can also wear this style this so many different ways. Speaking of styling this, um, I believe this is the piece that I'm going to be featuring on my Instagram. So if you're not following me on Instagram, definitely follow me there. You know, Loft isn't like a fast fashion place. It's not your misguided or your pretty little thing, but it's a great place to get those basics, pieces that you wear on the weekends, that you wear to work, um, pieces that you want to be able to wash and last you a long time. I highly... So I picked up these um, boyfriend style shorts. I was on the hunt for some shorts. I don't know, I just felt like all these shorts I had before were dated. I really wanted something that was kind of long line, but not specifically Bermudas. So I picked up these um, 90s style, like boyfriend style shorts from American Eagle. I will of course link them for you guys down below. I just like how they fit. I wish they were a smidge a smidge longer. Um, I like how it fits. It's a relaxed fit. I got this in a size 20. I always size up for my shorts 
and this is how they fit. If you're someone who, you know, is not super comfortable with like super short shorts, these are perfect because in my opinion, they seem to run a little bit longer in the back. So five pocket style shorts, um, distressing, and then it's a bit of like a high rise because it hits me right above my belly button like I could pull it up even higher if I wanted but I prefer it sitting down here the next item is um I guess it is, was a was a quarantine essential essentially essential essential how many times am I gonna say essential in this video basically okay I'm gonna stop but you know I don't know about you guys but the struggle was real during quarantine when we couldn't get to the nail shop to get that petty done. I just finally got my petty this week and I feel like a new woman. But guess what? Your feet and your girl's feet were crusty. We're very dragon white. Um, so I needed some way to cover my feet and I was talking about that on, on stories, but I didn't want to wear shoes. And so I decided that I needed a pair of like slides like this that were covered in the front. Originally, I wanted some like perforated ones just because it's summer and it's hot and I wanted it to be breathable, but I couldn't find any in my size. So if you wear a size 10 and over, I'm going to put some links to some great options for you. So I got these, I sized up in these just because I wanted them to be comfortable because it is a pointed toe. And I find that a pointed toe looks a lot more elevated, a lot more bougie than a round toe. So, and they're also more flattering on the leg to make your legs look longer. So I decided to grab these in a size 12. They're made out of real suede. I believe they're real suede. They're super comfortable. Like that was the first thing I noticed as soon as I put my foot in these, how comfortable they were. And they are from Madewell. And I picked this these up actually for, it was on sale on Nordstrom Rack. So I'm going to try and link the one that I got, but I think it's almost sold out. But I know that Zappos also has them in black and leather. This is suede and in another print. I also grabbed it in another print so that, you know, your girl can be, your girl can be all set up. Okay. So yeah, I love these. I think these are a must have for those days when you don't want to wear a shoe. So you want some circulation in there, but you also need your toes covered. Also always used to have shoes like that under my desk when I was teaching. They're so good. Like if you, especially if you wear a pair of shoes that are uncomfortable, these, they're just basically, they're like elevated house slippers. The next item is another honorable mention. Okay. And it's this dress that I had on in my date night video. I love this dress. I love this whole like sweetheart milkmaid style. It has puffy sleeves. It has ruches all the way through the dress. It has ruches on the back, which like I'm giving them extra points because a lot of times when you find these dresses, especially at affordable price points, they only ruche the front. They don't ruche the back. So I love the fact that it's ruched all over. Love ruching. Ruching really helps to hide a lot of evils. Like if you don't want to wear Spanx, you don't have to wear Spanx with a dress like this. And it's one of these pieces that you can dress up in my opinion and dress down like if you're going for like a more sporty date but you want to still look cute you could do a dress like this with you know some sneakers or you could also totally dress it up with some sandals and make it really sexy whatever really floats your boat this in a 2xl last i checked the blue and white is unavailable however the yellow is still available i'll also link some dupes for this dress because i got this on sale but this is regularly priced at like 80 or something but i was able to get it on sale for like maybe 29 or so like that but i found some dupes i found a very similar dress on shein for way less and i also found a dress very similar to it on misguided as well so links to them will be in the description actually the misguided dress is way cuter <laughs> it's way cuter let me be honest so i'm gonna put a link to it in the description for you as well continuing on with dresses the second item that i picked up from the kushni line is this black slip dress so i'm gonna tell you right now this is a halter style slip dress for whatever reason target failed to mention that in the name um, and I was really looking for like a just a traditional slip dress just like the green dress it also features the mixed um 
media mixed fabric situation. So we have some a silky fabric on here, as you guys can see, and then we have a more matte fabric. I love the way this drapes on the body. It's very reminiscent of Kushni, what she does. She loves pieces that kind of like slink, you know, around your body. So I love that. Um, it also has this cowl neck chest detail, and then you tie it across the back. And then the ties across the back have this um, long detail happening as well. Little details that are not in your face, but they kind of make the piece more special. It also has a split, but every woman needs a little black dress. And if you're not sure of like what to, to pick from the collection, then I recommend any one of her black dresses. She has this one. She also has the green dress in black um, because these are pieces that you know you will get your cost per wear. Like it's fun to buy like a bright pink fuchsia dress it's fun to buy like a super you know something that's super crazy printed but how many times will you be able to wear it so that's what I kind of think about when I'm shopping like she has some really great pieces really great mixed um colors like I find that if you go for the pieces that are solid color this also comes in red and a solid color that you'll be able to get a lot more wear out so this next dress y'all I have been raving about on stories. It's like pays to follow me on Instagram. As soon as I got it, it is under $20, y'all. Under $20. And I'm wearing it here in the extra large. It's a smock dress. And honestly, dresses like this are an absolute must have. When I say absolute, absolute <laughs> must have, especially like it's 90 something degrees today. You need a dress like this, okay? It's just easy, breezy, floats off the body. This is like the sister to the yellow dress from my H&M haul. Um, of course, I will link this. I'm wearing this here in an extra large, like I said, but honestly, I probably could have gotten away with a large if I wanted to. It is, there are limited sizes. So some sizes have already sold out. So if you want this, the link will be in the description. It features like this little yoke detail here. You can button it closed if you prefer, which is great because I feel like you can definitely transition a dress like this into fall. It has three tiers, one tier here, one tier there. And this is what it looks like. It has these really full sleeves that I'm a huge fan of. And the sleeves are elasticated. So, you know, if your arms are a little bit on the bigger size, you have some... Um, room here. I think they designed this dress to really fit people across the spectrum. So yeah, love the dress. Let me know if you're into, if you're loving smock dresses as much as I'm loving them right now. So are they a yay or a nay? So I the next item I have to share with you guys is a pair of flats. I've talked a lot about basics in this the video. I think I talk about basics all of the time. And the reason why I do that is because I find that a lot of us, we kind of shop based on emotion. We'll see like a glittery, like a unicorn style dress, maybe like a rainbow colored bodycon or something with like feathers and like, yes, I want that. And then we end up having a closet filled with glittery unicorn feather dresses and nothing to pair them with. Like, comment below if you had that moment. I had that moment a couple of years ago, which is why I'm, like, I've become such an advocate for basics. So this next item is a pair of, of brown wraparound sandals. I picked these up from Madewell. Let me tell you that they, Madewell calls itself Madewell, but I was saying on Instagram that its pieces are actually made well this is another brand just like loft that you know the price point is kind of like mid-tier where you're really getting the bank for your book because these pieces will last you you could be you'll be able to wear them season after season um and you know you can see the quality you know i get a lot of questions of like how to buy things that don't look cheap you know how to look expensive those are like one of the most popular videos on youtube biggest tips i can give you in regards to that is to invest in your basic your hardware your footwear invest in leather if you can i know just by looking at the quality of this you guys can see like the stitching everything that i'm going to be able to get like at least three or four 
five summers out of this because it's minimal. There's nothing too crazy going on. And the reason why I know this is because I've been stocking these sandals for like three seasons. Four, maybe. I remember seeing it on Karen Britchick a several seasons ago, and I still wanted it this year. So I know it's a great investment for my wardrobe. I've talked way too much about these, but they're just great for the summer because you can pair them with your neutrals, but you can also pair them with your bright colors. That's why I like pieces, why I love pieces like this. Now I'm going to do a video on summer essentials and this will definitely be in it because I've been asked to do that video. So if it's already live, I'm going to put a link to it down below. So I'm super curious. I'd love to know what are your top two places for shopping for basics. Um, if you like this video, make sure to check out this haul right here. And then also make sure to check out um, this video for more outfit ideas and styling tips. And don't forget to rate, comment, subscribe, and share. Wait, <laughs> I'm not going anywhere. Let's continue the conversations. I'll be in the comments down below.